pretty strange coming back to a city after five years away. Some things stay the same, of course, but others change. And really, it's the things that change that make the strongest impressions on one. These hydrofoils, for instance, they weren't even considered at the time that I left Australia. And this, this is just fantastic to me. The Opera House at the time that I left was nothing more than a, a pile of concrete that formed the foundations just above the surface of the ground. And uh, now, well, to me, it's certainly the, the most striking single physical change to Sydney in the five years that I've been away. Then, of course, the whole skyline has changed with it. It's hardly recognisable to me. And there were hundreds of houses right here in the path of what's now growing into the Warringah Expressway. But some things don't seem to change at all. Five years ago, the Chevron Hilton had magnificent plans for a 30-storey hotel just where this hole is. The hole is still here. And I suppose the plans are still around somewhere. Ah, but this is one of the nicest aspects of coming home. Perhaps not quite as many as in London, but far more than in New York, for instance. But men going to work in shorts, that really staggered me. It wasn't even dreamt of five years ago. These little red phones all over the place, they were something new too. Although I've been a bit surprised to find that a seemingly higher percentage of these seem to be in proper working order than the GPO's own public telephones. Of course, the GPO has its problems, as I found shortly after I arrived home. And I've been a bit dismayed at the extent of industrial unrest and dissatisfaction that has led to big strikes like that of the postal workers. The television coverage of these events, the tragic death of Mr. Holt, his memorial service, and the important political issues that followed through to the election of Prime Minister Gorton impressed me considerably. But most of all, I think I've been struck by the new willingness of politicians and government officials right up to the Prime Minister to appear on TV discussing issues of contention now. Well, gentlemen, this is a uh, press conference for the purpose of enabling you to ask uh, me questions and in the hope that I'll be able to provide some sort of an answer to them. Five it's years ago, you hardly ever saw the Prime Minister on television. Generally speaking, the average Australian seems to me to be much more aware of Asia, and in particular Vietnam, and to have a genuine concern for the importance of the role that Australia is developing and having thrust on it in Asia. But I couldn't help feeling that the old complacency, the feeling of, oh well, that's a long way away, was still pretty widespread. I wondered a bit if people were really concerned at all with the problems facing our society in general. Things that were wrong, things they might be worried about. What sort of things concern you? Mostly about war. War? Poverty. Such other problems. Well, I think there's too much emphasis on uh, uh, sex and this sort of thing today, community. Well, what about air pollution and water pollution of the cities? Oh, they should do something about it. There's a lot of diseases going around. I know where we live, my kids are always getting the gastric and things from the creek just near where we live and uh, you know there's costing me a fortune for doctors but it's not that but it's my kids say. What about town planning? Is that uh, well, something Sydney, you ever think Sydney's about? Sydney's not planned is it? It's just built. It's just ribboned out. It's just nothing there really except just a mat. I don't particularly like buildings very much that they're putting up. I think they're too modern. Well this is one apparently unchangeable aspect of certain Australian buildings that is anything but modern. These incredible examples of native art, I suppose you'd call them, are one of the things that really impressed on me the fact that I was back home again. The beer is just as good as it always was. And the new money, I think it's terrific. 
Of course, I gathered that one has to be a bit careful with $10 bills. I think it was Dud Five as they were passing around a few years back. And talking about money, it's really good to be back where food prices are reasonably sensible. I know you'd probably complain that they're always rising, but after living in the United States, these prices are really a pleasure. Of course, the money you save on food can easily go in other directions. These places were completely new to me. None of this five years ago. Quite a change. Not much difference in the result, though, for me, anyway.